there guys, it's Sophie. So today's video is going to be a little bit different from the usual ones that I do. But I thought it'd be fun to actually give voiceovers a go. I mean, I've had a couple of requests recently um, from people asking if I could actually do a voiceover instead of the music. Um, so I thought it'd be fun to try it out and see what I thought. I mean, I hope you guys like this sort of thing. I mean, I don't think I'm going to be doing it all the time. I'm still going to have builds out with just the music, but for a change, I thought it'd be good to do something different. Um, so yeah, let's talk about the build a little bit. So this one's an apartment. Um, recently, I did a luxury family home and I really enjoyed how the colour scheme worked out. So I thought it'd be fun to do something similar to that and just as an apartment instead. I feel like I tend to sway towards the darker colours when it comes to building and the interior especially. Um, so this was much more of a challenge than um, the usual stuff that I do. But since a lot of people really liked that, I thought that giving it a go would be cool because I enjoyed how it turned out too and trying new things is always fun so yeah. Also most of the apartments that I've done are actually pretty small so I decided to choose a larger one and this one actually has four bedrooms I think in the end and I'm not sure how many bathrooms, I feel like it has three, maybe yes it does three. But back to the voiceover thing, I feel like it's much harder to do than you think, like you first get it into your head that it's just simple, you're speaking, um, but really it's much harder than that, like speaking for so many minutes straight without a break is really hard actually and I've given it a couple of tries now but um, I've never really been brave enough to upload it until now. I'm just setting the doors in now. I've finished most of the floor plan I think. Well that's something I find easy I guess, the floor plan. It doesn't really take me long like this, I think it took me 5 or 10 minutes to do the floor plan. I guess I'm pretty good at visualising what I want to do. I mean some people find it really hard and ask me how I found inspiration and things for the floor plan but I don't know, I just do it I guess. It's like when I'm building, I most of the time I just draw out the outline of the house. I don't really think about it, I just do it and then I change things afterwards that I don't like and add to it until I'm happy with the shape which is exactly how I do the inside of apartments. I just play around with different shapes and make the walls so they look different from everything else that I've done, but also what would actually translate into a good floor plan and have be able make me be able to put the different furniture in that I want to put in. I went for a much more modern feel, I guess, with this one but most of the time I am using more modern styles. I want to get back into the traditional stuff now we're coming up to the end of the year and autumn and winter and everything. I feel like more traditional things fit in with this time of year as opposed to the modern stuff. I kind of associate it with spring but it's just a style that I enjoy working with so that's what I did here. We're also coming up to Halloween now, which I'm so excited for. I love Halloween and I've actually got a few different ideas for Halloween builds, um, different themes and things. So definitely keep an eye out for that because I'm going to have a few different builds come up um, very soon. So like, I feel like in a couple of days I'm going to have my first Halloween build go up and then a couple more before actual Halloween. Um, I don't think I'll have one go up on Halloween because we're actually going to the Warner Brothers studio tour in London which I'm so excited for um, just with all the Halloween decorations and everything I mean we've done Christmas we've done Hogwarts and Snow and we've done it on a regular day but we haven't seen the Forbidden Forest um, sets yet and um, I'm kind of excited to see all the main hall decked out for Halloween if you don't know already, that's what they do towards the holidays. They decorate it all so it's similar to how it was seen in the Harry Potter films. Um, like Hogwarts in the Snow has Hogwarts all decorated in snow. I guess it kind of says it in the title. And the main halls all decked out with Christmas trees and everything. And then for Halloween they do the same with pumpkins and all the sweets on the tables. I just, I like it. I think it's cool and I'm really looking forward to going. 
Um, right now I'm just doing the kitchen. Um, it's similar to the one that I did in the house that I was talking about earlier. The luxury family home I feel like it was. It's similar to that one but I feel like this one's much bigger. I don't know, I can't really remember right now. And here I was playing around with the little chairs and I really wanted a sofa to fit and then this one felt too bulky so in the end I do change it. But I did kind of like how it looked, I just didn't have enough room to put a table in front of it and chairs. So you'll see what I do in a minute, I change it. I feel like I used a lot more clutter than I usually do. I mean upstairs, when we eventually get upstairs, that's kind of basic. But I feel like I did use much more little objects than I usually do when I'm building. Like here, when I'm adding the little things on the counters. I kind of usually pre prefer the clean sort of style, but I felt like it fit in. So I tried to use different colours of like pastel shades because I feel like that's what fit and I added the chairs in there. I really love those chairs. I don't know what pack they're from. But I really love those chairs. The ones um, on the table near the kitchen. I mean I like these chairs too but I think the colourful ones are prettier. I just wanted a little um, table area as well like off to the side of the kitchen. Then I did an office in this corner. I went for pink just to contrast against the blue because I used a lot of blue in the main area. I really like how the office turned out. I think this is like my dream office. It's pretty. And I love this glass desk as well. Moving on, um, I feel like I really want to start uploading more often now. Um, over the last couple of weeks I've definitely been trying to get more videos out. Um, I ideally want to get three or four videos out a week, um, three kind of at a minimum. I just feel like I, that's what I want to do. So maybe I'm going to be doing the odd apartment video along with the houses. I've not been really uploading too many apartment videos over the last couple of months. I kind of had a break from them because I did upload quite a few as soon as City Living came out. But now I'm getting more into them again and I thought it'd be cool to do some more. I think that I've only done one other apartment that has two floors before. So this was different again than the others. Um, I think, I, yes, I did two bedrooms downstairs as well. So that's also pretty different from the other stuff that I've done. Um, I think there's two upstairs, two down. Something that annoys me a little bit with apartments though, is that you can't download them as easily as builds, like as actual houses. You have to kind of copy the entire floor and then upload that. And then this one was even harder because I had to do two separate floors and the top floor wasn't really working properly. So I have the first floor in the gallery and then I think the separate rooms for the top floor. So if you're looking for it, that's probably why you're struggling to find it or something. It was hard work, I guess. Um, if you don't know, you have to delete like one of the wall panels and then drag it across again to make all of the rooms act as one instead of separate individual rooms. Otherwise you'd have to upload each room separately onto the gallery. I tried my best to use a lot more colours in this build. Again, from the usual stuff I do. Um, I, I think that I find it hard to use different colours. I just don't like things that don't match for some reason. I still stick, stick with um, one or two colours per room. I didn't want to go overboard and make everything clash. I feel like I'm not that sort of person. I know a lot of people and builders can really make it look good, like using all different bright colours. Like, but that's why I find the pastel scheme a lot easier, I guess, because they're much toned, more toned down than bright colours, so they fit together much more easily. Yeah, I'm just doing the bathroom. I feel like bathrooms get a little bit annoying now as well. We need more bathroom furniture to make them look differently. They just seem to look the same for me. I tried to use different cabinets and things with the sinks instead of freestanding sinks now as well. So I used them so many times. Now we're moving up to the upstairs. I had this like balcony area, this large balcony area where I had a sitting, um, a place where you can sit and then you can look over the balcony on the actually main living area which I thought was pretty neat and 
it just thought it looked really cool. <laughs> and now I'm doing the doors again, but upstairs. I had this sort of bar area off to the right, or you can't, yeah, I'm just doing it now. I didn't really know what to put in this room. I was gonna make it a gym, but then I thought a bar would look nice, hanging over, like looking over the actual living area, as I said before. I thought it looked cool. And they had some, like, the things that you have again, cabinet things that you have against a bar. I don't know, yeah, there. Yeah, I'm adding them in now. I can't really think what they're called. But they have all the bottles on. And I thought that looked cool. And then I had the mirrors in again. I used so many of these mirrors in this build. So if you are a little bit annoyed with how many of the mirrors I use, I don't know. I just, I think they look cleaner and just much more stylish than having the pictures all over the wall. We really need a lot more pictures. I get so bored with the different pictures that we have. Now I'm doing the curtains, which wouldn't work. So I had to use the cheat to raise them up because they just wouldn't click in place for some reason. And then I'm adding a couple more bedrooms in here. I was struggling to figure out um, different things to do in these two bedrooms. So I don't really like how they turned out as much as the ones downstairs. Anyway, we're coming towards the end now, I guess. So I just wanted to say thank you for watching and I really hope you enjoyed this for a change. Let me know in the comments below if you preferred this to the music or the music to the voiceover, I guess. Um, I'm definitely going to have videos with music still come up, but I do want to do this more often as well. So anyway, thank you so much for watching. Um, please do like the video if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel if you don't already. I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Take it easy